Peace, fam, and welcome back to my channel. It's your Divine Soul Sister here. I wanted to do, this is not midweek, but um, it's nearing the end of the week. Um, Spirit has pulled me, and I've been guided to do another reading. I know I did a reading for the full moon um, in, um, earlier this week, but Spirit has guided me to perform another one. And while I'm shuffling and, and setting myself, you know, allow myself to be guided in such a manner. If you are not subscribed to this channel, let me explain to you who I am. My name is Ashaki, better known as the Divine Soul Sister. And my channel is a channel that is dedicated to sharing practical guidance to assist you in connecting to your own divinity um, and other spiritual goodiness. So that's what this channel is about. If you're interested in continuing to see me, I would love if you would join the fam, the Divine Soul fam. So hit the subscribe button, you get the bell. I typically only record and have one video per week, but this is a special week. This is the week of my birth. My birthday is March the 15th, also known as the Ides of March. And I'm super excited. I wasn't feeling very excited about my birthday initially, but as the week rolls on, um, I'm becoming a little bit more hype about it. So that's that. And then also, um, you can also reach me. I'm going to put all my links below. I offer services. I'm an intuitive empath. Um, I do a little intuitive reading and I'm a Reiki master as well and I'm a certified community centered herbalist and so on and so forth. So I'll make sure all the information and ways that you can connect with me on IG, Facebook and whatever, what have you. My website is below. So let's get into this. Ooh, let's get into this reading. Some cards fell. So, but I'm not going to, I'm going to continue to shuffle and see spirit. What messages does the collective really need? at this time. Ashe. Ooh. Mm. What is coming up? All right. Get a few oracles to supplement here. While I'm sub shuffling oracle, I'm going to jump right in. You guys have the wheel of fortune in reverse. Um, and with that, no matter what position the Wheel of Fortune is, I always see it as change. Change is one of those things that is inevitable. It's going to happen, no matter what. But the thing of it is, is how are you going to navigate it? Sometimes life is smooth and sometimes it's not. But you still got to continue to keep sailing. When the winds get rough and the waves get rough and you're being tossed about, you still need to keep that boat afloat. How are you going to do that? Um, some of this energy, I feel, is connected to the coronavirus, um, people being very fearful of what is happening in this world. But what I'm going to tell you is what Spirit gave me the other day. There are systems that are being challenged, and there are people that have been in power for a very long time, um, and their time is up. And so because of that, these things have come. You're going to see more of it. I posted something about this on my IG today. When something is trying to, to end, let it. Let it go. Some of you are accustomed to the, the way things were. But let me tell you something. That's not the way things will continue. They can't. We are in a big, huge consciousness shift, societal shift, systems shift, and people are going to move differently. I told y'all in the year reading... That I performed as well last year, probably early in the, the last quarter of the year, that the old ways of doing and being is not going to serve us moving forward. And that still rings true and is going to continue to ring true. 2020 is not just it's not all about clear vision, but it is heralding the beginning of a new era. It began a few years ago, actually. We saw some little blips of, but now it's going to be hard and fast with Saturn sitting so heavily in the world and in the, the universe, um, not even in the world, but in the universe, in this position, that heavy Saturn grandfather energy is not coming to play. It's not, it's not a light energy, but it is a great energy for us to evaluate ourselves in the microcosm or the macrocosm that we exist within 
So that's the number one. So change, it is coming. Got the temperance card. Some of you, again, and because of where it fell beside the will of fortune, what I'm intuitively picking up is a lot of you guys are out of balance. The world is out of balance, but the playing field is being leveled. You're going to need to find your way through these situations. Some of you don't understand that you have had an active part in your own spirit of sin destruction. The issues that you've experienced and continue to experience. You've been an active participant in that because you are off balance. You are not balanced out. You are not moving in order. You are going against what is naturally, what you are naturally inclined to. You are a square peg trying to continually place yourself within a round hole. You used to could fake it. You can't anymore. You can't even anymore. All of us are being called to the to the carpet about we having to confront our shit. And that is happening across the world. People that have gotten away with a whole lot of dirt, they're being called out because of their dirt. People that have behaved in manners that have harmed others are being called out. Countries that have been big bullies being called out and so on and so forth. You cannot throw a rock and hide your damn hand. The universe, source, the gods, the goddesses, spirits, whatever, ain't everything, it, it, it's being seen. It's being seen. Your actions are not hidden. Some of you are off balance because you still clinging to the way it used to be, baby, but you want to embrace this change. You got to embrace the change because it's happening right in front of your face. It's happening. When you do get in balance and what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing is you're going to experience more of what you want. Some of you are totally out of touch with your own divinity. You are out of... You, the out of off balance. When you get in balance, you're going to experience more fruitfulness in your life, more abundance in your life, more of what you want. But you also have to become very comfortable, Spirit is saying, with your shadow. You see this little black cat over here? I love the Afro tarot goddess thing. She's super, she's not nervous with that black cat beside her. You know why? She has embraced that cat. That cat is a portion of her. And she is fully Owning the fact that, yeah, just like you see this beautiful light being, there's also a dark side. And that makes up the totality of who I am. The minute that you embrace those parts of yourself that you don't particularly like or are fond of, is the minute that you're going to experience more abundance. And with that abundance, it's going to come new opportunities, new ways of being. You got the fool card. Because of its proximity, again, to the goddess of wands, which I didn't say that's what that was. It was the goddess of wands. When you embrace these new ideas, and even the ideas that come from the dark place of self, you're going to be you're gonna be given opportunity to be this new being, to step out on a new foot, to do something different. With change and doors closing, it's going to come new opportunities, baby. The fool card. Any, every closed door is another opportunity. Every ending is a new beginning. And you're going to have to learn to accept that for what it is. With that, um, what I'm also getting, and you have the four of pentacles, but it's in reverse. With these systems ending, with everything that's going on in this world, Again, old ways of being and doing is not going to work. Are we still going to need money to do things? Absolutely. Worldly possessions, but if that's the only thing you have to grab to, baby, you might as well hang it up because it's not going to work. You're not going to be at ease. Um, while you're going into these new spaces, you're going to need to be more mindful about your money. And you may feel uncertain. What I'm hearing is uncertainty. Some of you have already gone through this. You've decided to do something different with your life. Maybe you're trying you're trying to begin a business or you're stopping 
um, working for a particular company. Would that change? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always uncertain. Um, just be more mindful of the way you spend and where you spend. So what oracle, What? how can we tie this all together? I'm listening to my cat, y'all. Sorry. First of all, the minute that you move into these new spaces, you got rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. Holding on to those old ways is not going to get you what you really desire. It's time for something new. In the world, for us to create a new world, what has to happen first? The old one has to be destroyed. My father was a builder in construction for many years. And I remember listening to him speak about building. And he always said, you know, some things have to be totally, completely demolished in order to be rebuilt because the foundation was no good. You got to take the entire foundation up. That's what you see happening in this world. Is it fun? Mm -mm. But after ruin comes light. All I've been hearing all week is after ruin. After ruin. Y'all, let these damn things fall. Let them fall. It's time to let those old ways of being and doing and operating in this world. It's time for that shit to end. Right now, your commitment is being tested. Some of you are committed to certain people, places, and situations, even to your own mindset. Some of us have, you know, we, we walk around with rose-colored glasses on. It's real hard to be joyful in times of fear, but fear is false evidence appearing real, and you cannot become a prisoner and don't allow anyone to make you a prisoner because of what's going on in this world. Operate, you got to understand that we live within a, a matrix. And if you're not looking with another eye, are you really seeing? If you're not listening with a higher ear, are you really hearing? Are you really understanding and understanding and overstanding what's really going on? You can't watch the news and think that you're going to get the truth at face value. You got to look with another eye. You got to listen with another ear. You got to allow your higher self to assist you in navigating in this world. Let me tell you something. Your intuition is the highest intellect. Don't let nobody tell you that anything different. It is. You got to tune in. Tune in, beloved, and understand that you are the sorceress. You got Rihanna. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. We are all co-creating our reality. Some of you are playing into the fear and you are helping to manifest your biggest and greatest fears. Others of you are not being realistic. Take precautions. Yes, but don't move in fear. Um, Understand that your words, your thoughts, those thoughts become things. Be very cognizant of that fact. Be mindful. Monitor your thoughts. Monitor your mouth. It's okay to be a little uneasy, but don't let it incapacitate you and have you out here live, um, acting foolishly like the fool. Don't. Don't do it. It's time for you to change your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind about what you think life is. Change your mind about what you think, who you think you are. It's time to change your mind. It's time to look at the world from a different perspective. What really is important? In times like this, it really make, brings those things to forefront. Is it really important that you get that other pair of shoes? Or is it important that you check on your family? They know how much you love them. Is it important that you continue to work at a job that is unfulfilling and draining your life force? Or is it more important to pursue your dreams and figure it out? Is it, you know, are if things were working the way that they should in the world, why would the universe, God's goddesses, source, see fit for them to end? Think about it. 
change your mind and you can change your entire life. Some people are living an existence that is far from what it could be if their mind was in the right place. You know, it's, it's not easy work to change your mind, nor is it easy work to monitor your thoughts, but it is necessary. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy. Bad shit crazy. I'm speaking in this manner because I feel from a lot of you a lot of apprehension about the future. And what I will tell you is this. All is not what you think it is. Do not take anything at face value. Yes, operate from a practical mind and, and take precautions. Wash your hands. Be clean. Eat well. Take your herbs. Um, but do not operate in fear. There are people in places that feed off of fear. Energy is a very, very potent thing. And when it's in the wrong hands, it can be detrimental to a lot of people. That's what's happening right now. This is all channeling, by the way. It's not me just inferring. These things are dropping into my spirit, and so I'm sharing it with you. Understand who you are. Who you are. And the universe is listening. And it only knows yes. So if you say, oh, the world is coming to an end. Yeah, this world is. This world is. But not this earth. Not in the way that we think. These systems in this world are ending. The entire veil is ripped off. Sheets have been pulled back. And people are being held accountable. But isn't this what we've asked for for a very long time? Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. I hope that this message has brought you some amount of peace. Um, clarity, at least. Uh, if you feel so inclined to share this message out with others, please feel free to do so. You can watch some of my other videos. If you're interested in a personal reading, I'm going to put my information below again for you to utilize. If you are not a subscriber, I would love for you to join us the Divine Soul family. Um, I'm going to continue to do my work and pursue my destiny no matter what. I will. We live in this existence, so I'll operate within the confines of this existence with the knowledge and understanding that we do live in a matrix. It is a controlled environment. So be aware of that and keep that. And may that bring you some peace. May that bring you some peace. Let us manifest a new reality. I'm excited for the new reality. Um, I'm not going to get too woo-woo, but I wanted to, to give you all something to carry you through the rest of the week. I'm going to also put my cash app below. So if you would like to send your girl a Happy birthday donation. That would be awesome um, and beautiful. Or you want to send me a well wish, you can contact me through my website or via um, social media. Again, my birthday is on Sunday, March the 15th. Tomorrow is March the 13th, and it is a Friday the 13th. Um, I think it's the first Friday the 13th of this year. Um, don't let anybody tell you that that's a bad look day. It is not. 13 is a highly spiritual number. I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, I love you all so much. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you are interested in me doing more readings on the page, I'll do so if you comment below and let me know. Or if you want me to expound upon any subjects spiritually in nature or life in nature. Or anything anything you've seen on my page you want me to expound upon more. Or things that may come up in your spirit. I'd be glad to tried to do that. Um, so anyway, this has been Ashaki, your divine soul sister. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you all an abundance of peace, love, light, and always balance. I'll see you all soon.